Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm currently prepping some rice. Um, for dinner, I'm gonna make a chicken and rice recipe, but I'm gonna make it like a little spicy with like a cream sauce. Um, we'll see. I have I have an, a like a vision in my head that I want to come to fruition, so that's what I'm doing. So let me show you what I'm doing with the rice. In my rice cooker, I put jasmine rice. I have some salt. Um, two different Cajun seasonings, which is. Uh, or Creole seasonings, this one. And I also put uh, this one. And then I put a little bit of sazon in it, just like half a packet, um, a little salt, and then I put some minced garlic, some shallots, I have some spinach and arugula in there. Um, I stirred it up, so now I'm just gonna turn it on. Put the lid on, let it do its thing. I'm prepping it, I'm gonna see how it tastes when it comes out, but my plan is to kind of uh, fry, uh, like put it in the pan and kind of fry it up like fried rice a little bit. And um, I'm gonna bake my chicken legs in the oven. And when they're done, I'm gonna kind of put the chicken on top of the rice and let it kind of go together. And on the side, I'm gonna make the sauce which um, it's in my mind is kind of like alfredo sauce but it's not kind of like my alfredo sauce but without the cheese and let that come to a nice little thickening and then i'm gonna pour it all over or just leave it to have on the side so you can kind of do it and then i'm also thinking i might add a little bit of this to it this avocado cream hot sauce which i get from aldi's which is so good so i'm gonna do that so that's the idea so I'm hoping that it comes out well and tastes good. So we're gonna kind of experiment with that. And this is kind of like a like a fridge clean out because I have to go grocery shopping. So this is basically what's kind of left. So yes, so that's what we're gonna be cooking today. Um, yeah, it's Tuesday currently. Um, for the rest of this week, I do have to run to the post office to return some jeans I got from Fashion Nova. Oh. It was funny because I ordered four jeans. They're the same classic high-waisted. Two of them felt great. The other two were like tighter than the other one. And then so I'm going to be taking these braids out because it's been a month and they're looking a little crusty. We go to Dollar Tree because Jade has been bugging me to go to Dollar Tree because she wants to get some snacks. But I also want to see if they have any like um, fall Halloween decor because I do need a couple new pieces. So me do that and i also just ordered some tickets for friday the 13th october um to go to the like um this horror like amusement park and it has like a bunch of haunted houses so you'll see a vlog coming for that you know i mean that's you know months away but yeah so i'm excited about that because y'all know i love me some fall but yeah so that's the plan for this week um so far I'm going to do my tidying up, laundry, things like that. Nothing too crazy. So I just dropped my package off. I'm really debating if I want to get a boba. I'm trying to behave and um, not do so much sweets and like junk, which is hard. I try to keep it to like the weekend or whatever. But um, I really want a boba, a taro boba. That's like my new thing. And I'm like trying to reason with myself of like why i should get it i'm like oh i've been good you should get it even though i just had one uh last week and i'm like well maybe i'll get a small one instead of a large one which the large isn't that crazy but maybe i'll get a medium one like does anybody else do this like you're just trying to ration with yourself of why you should get something yep so I have some sweet onions and some garlic cut up over here. I have my chicken. Um, it's basically uh, soaking in white vinegar and water. I'm about to rinse it off real good. And then I'm gonna slit some, make some slits into the chicken legs, season them up.
Okay, so my chicken is pretty much done. It made a lot of gravy, which is nice. So I just kind of um, baste all the chicken and put it back in for like five minutes. And then I'll probably um, boil it for like a minute or two just to get a little bit more crisp on the skin. Um, while it's back in there for a couple minutes, I'm going to um, stir fry the rice real quick and start making the sauce. Your toes are a blessing to this world. Mm -hmm. To this rice. Motherhood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Like like mm -hmm. mm. That's delicious. Yeah, I see your scraggly toes. Mm. That's really good. about to take these braids out and it's been a month now so I'm gonna take them out and then I'm gonna have some dinner because I'm hungry but I want to get this over with like I want to take them out because my scalp is itchy and I got a little bit of dandruff and I just want to scratch it real good but I also want to keep them in because it's been so easy but nonetheless, it's been a month. I'm gonna take them out, have some dinner, and then I'm gonna tidy up real quick and put my sheets on my bed. Um, I'm a little nervous. I always see people, like I've seen a couple people cut their own hair. halfway through I just have the top portion now um yeah this is what I was dreading this is what kept me not getting box braids for the longest time Jada started helping me all done well almost oh. oh, my little piece of hair so yeah finally all done look at that I actually didn't lose too too much hair for not combing my hair for a month, which is good. Ooh, nice. I did a protein treatment. I lost so much dead hair that it actually scared me. I haven't had a um, protective style since like I was a teenager or younger, probably younger. So my gosh and when i took the braids out i would comb it out gently and then when i went in the shower all that dead hair like that's crazy 
actually insane and my hair did grow which is nice but I'm definitely gonna cut it and go back to my bob for the um for the fall winter but oh my god my treatment feels nice scratching my scalp like this feels so good I do miss my braids but oh my god but yeah I'm tired now it is 8 30 so I'm going to relax in my bed and catch up on Housewives of Atlanta. And I will check in tomorrow or when I'm doing something. Currently editing a video, well, uploading my video. And I am doing a fridge kind of clean out because I need to go grocery shopping. Um, so I'm just using basically using up what I have left. So I'm making like a little seafood bake. So I have some crab legs and some mussels and shrimp. So um, the oven is ready, I have it for 400. I'm just going to put it and let it go for like 15 minutes. Normally I do it in like a bag so it has sauce and stuff, but I just wanna do something really quick and not too crazy messy. I get a more in-depth uh, video of how I do my crab boil go back to my last vlogmas video for what was it i think it was christmas eve painting video um i will link it below so you can watch that and the recipe is there and excuse that that's annoying look at that big hair big headed annoying little person hey guys so it's been a couple days um, I don't know, I just didn't pick up to vlog. But I just came back from the farmer's market by me to pick up some fruit and some sushi dinner for Jade and I. And I totally forgot that I tried to plant a watermelon seed. And, well, my mango one, it died. I don't have a green thumb, but apparently I do. Look. So, look at the, look at the judgment. But she would be eating my watermelon when it grows though, right? Anyway, so I'm about to put this, about to plant it and water it and stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Again, I don't have a th green thumb, so don't come for me, okay? I got it in. Can you see that? I'm like so like stoked at this. I'm just gonna water it. And I'm gonna try to do um a pineapple too because I saw this guy because usually I cut the top off the pineapple, but I saw people you can just twist it off. And then you put the top part in water, and then in a couple days, you'll see roots. So I'm gonna try that too. I did buy a pineapple. So I put it here by my back door, cause it gets pretty good sunlight, but not too, too crazy.
guys so just got in real quick um it's friday uh we had to go to an appointment and then i decided to go to dollar tree and home good just to see what like halloween fallish things they have because y'all you know i just love october through december the rest of the year again but um yeah and i'm feeling exceptionally fallish and halloweenish recently and especially today so i'm going to show you some of the things i picked up which i had no business being in home goods or dollar tree if i'm being honest because i have enough decorations but sometimes you just want to judge up what you have or replace so i'm going to show you what i got i also shopped the abercrombie uh jeans sale so um i finally got my jeans so i'm going to try those on and show you i got two pair um i have three that i currently have um, and I just love them. Like the fabric is so nice, like real jean materials, material. So I'm going to show you what I got at Dollar Tree Home Goods, and I am going to show you my Abercrombie haul. And I apologize that this vlog has been very wishy-washy. I've been feeling very, um, just like not inspired, I guess. I don't know. Just very, mm. So I haven't really been reaching to vlog, I apologize, but I am trying my best to get you guys some footage. So I, I do apologize for that. So let's get started. So from Home Goods, I got this from my little Gatsby. That's for his birthday, so he can't get that now. And then we got this new blanket, which I think is so cute. I think it's probably like tarot cards or something like that. I thought it was super cute. It's so nice and thick. We have other throw blankets, but they're kind of small and like thin. They're still warm, but this one is really nice. And then the second item I got was this. Potion, spells, and it's just all together like that. And then this one I thought was really cute. Book of potions, and then it opens. So I could put like my remotes and stuff in here because I plan to put on the coffee table together, I think is my vision. Um, something like that, but I gotta judge it up and see. I'm so tempted to like take out my decor right now, but it's early even for me, so I'm trying to hold out. But that's the plan to put this on the coffee table and then put the remotes and stuff inside so it's not bulky. And just put a nice candle next to it. Um, but yeah, so that's what I got from Home Goods. So for Dollar Tree, I got these two little cute little lanterns. Um, they were $1.25 and they come with a little like light inside. I do have to add batteries. And they just have like some skeletons and some bats. I'll show you when it's lit up. And then um, silk press season is coming up. Um, and I saw some people using these foam rollers and the velcro rollers for the straight hair. So once my hair gets oily and greasy, I want to curl it with my shark. And um, to make them stay, I'm going to put these like just at the end so it has like a nice curl at the end. And then I've seen some people when they blow dry their hair, when they strain it, they stick these at the root in the front so that it has some volume. And instead of buying a whole big thing of more hair shit that I don't need, I was like, a dollar twenty five can't beat it, right? If it doesn't work, it's a dollar twenty five. But I'm gonna make it work. Anyway, I also have some Amazon packages coming. I ordered um, a face brush for Jada, you know, to wash her face. She wanted one of those, and I ordered some skincare and some nail care. So I will show you that when I get that. A little lunch while I go watch my shows. So I got some provolone, brujou, some salami, a little piece of a crunch bar, some takis, pickles, and a pumpkin, a pumpkin uh, iced coffee that I made with pumpkin puree, some half and half, some vanilla and pumpkin spice syrup. I got the Curve Love this time and they're the 90 straight some room but i also wanted it to be a little bit tighter on the leg i did get long um because all they had was short or long so i got long which i don't mind because i'm gonna cuff them like this and this is how long they are and i am five five just for reference i mean they don't look bad but i wanted them a little bit more tight on the leg 
So I'm debating if I should keep or go down a size. But I do know my other jeans, when I wash them, they definitely shrank a little bit. So I'm wondering if I should just keep it that way. These are the high rise skinny. And I got them in the same size. So I know once I put these in the wash, they're gonna be a little bit more form fitted. But I actually like it. This is how they come up. Very nice jean. And then these are regular. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Keep or send back and get a smaller size? Or do you think I should keep? And then once they get washed and dry, they'll fit exactly how I want. But I'm not mad at how they fit now like, either. So I know I'm so complicated, but let me know. So I got one of my anima ugh, Amazon packages. The other one should be coming later or tomorrow. So these are the drill bits I got. They sent two extra um, buffing drills. If you can see them. And then you get a hundred of three different kinds of buffing um, drills. So they get more coarse. Yeah. that because like I said, I'm going to start doing my nails myself because these just, yeah, I'm not going to get into it. And then I got from this brand, a milky white and a milky pink. I'm going to show you that in a second. And I got some more on my L, um, oil. So let me see if I don't have my, um, my freaking iPod, my iPod, <laughs> my, uh, what you call it? Why can't I speak? It's early, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, so I, I don't have my tripod. So let's see if this will work. So this is the milky pink. It's just so pretty. And then, oops, that's the one Jada wanted. Actually, I like that one too. And then this is the Milky White. So pretty. Exactly what we were going for. The pink is actually a little bit more pinky than I thought, but definitely gonna see. If not, I could just mix these two for how she wanted it, like a lighter milky pink, but yeah. So I just got my second Amazon package. I got a three pack of my deodorant. I like this one, it keeps me dry. Um, I got some uh, face wash. I haven't tried this one before, but I've heard nothing but good things, I'm sure, as we all have. I need some more magnesium gummies, well, vitamins, and Target didn't have the ones I usually have, so I tried this one. And Jada wanted a cleansing brush to get more into her skincare, so I got her this. Uh, let me open it. So it's small and compact, which will fit great in her shower. It comes with five different brush heads. I have a similar one from Vanity Planet from like years ago that I absolutely love as well. So I think this will definitely work out. My favorite is the silicone head brush, which is what I use. But yeah, and that's pretty much it for my hauls. I think this is gonna be the end of my video. Again, I'm sorry that it's been so like sparse and all over the place, but I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you continue watch my videos. Please like and subscribe and let me know that you like what you see. And I also really appreciate it. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.